Hello, I'm Annabelle. Hello there, my name's Rob and we work at Confection Perfection. Today we're going to show you a range of ideas on how to bake and decorate cakes. Today we're going to be making ginger cake. Our ingredients are 250 millilitres of water, 200 grams of crystallised ginger, 40 grams of butter, 160 grams of dark brown sugar, three eggs, 250 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate, one teaspoon of baking powder, and two teaspoons of powdered ground ginger. Firstly, we're gonna take our mixing bowl, we're gonna put in our dark brown sugar, and our three eggs. Just make sure when you're putting your eggs in, that you put them in one at a time, just in case there's any blood in the eggs. And then we're gonna put this on our mixing machine with our whisk attachment. And then we're gonna whisk it on a high speed until it's doubled in volume. Okay, now our eggs have doubled in volume. This should be nice and light. We can switch off our machine and leave that to stand while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. Take our water and our butter and our chopped stem ginger and we can pop these in the microwave just on a, on a medium heat for about two minutes, we just heat that up. Whilst that's heating up, we can sift our flour, our bicarbonate, our baking powder and our ginger. When I'm sieving, I always like to use a drum sieve and a large piece of greaseproof paper make sure that I'm keeping it all nice and neat and it's easy for me to transfer the flour into the mixing bowl and the time is right. We'll pop all our dry ingredients in together and give this a good sieve. Okay, now this is finishing off heating up. I'm gonna take our whisked eggs and sugar and now I'm gonna fold the flour into the egg mix. As you can see, using the big piece of greaseproof paper, it's nice and easy to pour into the bowl. Now, before I start to fold that through, you need to have everything ready and prepared. Here, I've got a nine inch square um, cake tin, which I've lined with greaseproof paper. Also, I've got my ginger, butter and water mix that is heated up. Like I said, it's very important that you have everything ready um, before you actually start mixing, and I'll explain why in a second. So I'm folding through the flour into the egg mix in nice, large motions around the edge of the bowl and cutting through the middle. Now that's incorporated, I'm going to add the water, butter and ginger mix. And the reason why you need to have everything ready, because as soon as I add this hot water, it's going to react with the um, sodium bicarbonate, which adds the air and it traps all the air inside it. If you were to do it too early, all the air would escape. You change the te texture of the cake when finished. and then straight away pour into our lined tin and spread out evenly, just making sure that the, the, the uh, crystallised ginger is nice and even through the cake. And then this can go into the oven at 160 degrees for half an hour. I'm going to prepare the ginger syrup to go on the top. In a small saucepan, you can add 40 grams of butter, 150 mils of double cream, 150 grams of dark brown sugar and a teaspoon of ground ginger. And put this on the stove on a medium heat until it comes to the boil. Okay, I'm going to check on the ginger cake now. As you can see, it's nice and cooked, nice and firm and springy to the touch. Also, insert a knife, it comes out nice and clean. What I'm going to do is actually prick it all over so when we pour our ginger toffee sauce on it, the cake will absorb it all. Now I'm going to take our sauce and pour it all over the cake. Now I'm going to use the back of the spoon just to help it absorb into the cake. Fine just to have some of the sauce left on the top like that and then we're going to pop it back in the oven for 10 more minutes out of its tin. It 
sticking around the sides where the sauce is, just give it a bit of a with the knife. And then personally, I don't think it needs anything else. Just cut straight into it. It's lovely to serve warm, the custard, or just to eat as is. And that is how you make ginger cake.